during uh, President, after Buhari, uh, President Buhari's inaugural speech, you commended him for his uh, for saying mm -hmm. that he will look into local government administration. Yeah. From then till now, what, what what do you think about his level of commitment to that speech? That is sincerely what is worrying most of Nigerians, not only Nigerian Union of Local Government employees. Because we expected President Mahmoud Buhari to match his word with actions. What exactly did you expect him to do? What? Bearing in mind <laughs> that local governments, uh, the local government is enshrined in the constitution. So what did you expect of him? What we expect him to do as a president of Nigeria is to ensure that every level of government operate within the powers you know, given to her by the constitution of Nigeria. The creation of state local government joint account in any way does not give state government any power whatsoever to divert, misappropriate, siphon the fund meant for local government. The idea behind creation of state local government joint account is to have a point where when the Allocation from the federation account for local government comes to a particular state, will rest there. And the same prohibition of the constitution provided that each state of the federation is to provide or give 10% of the IGR collected on a monthly basis in the state to that particular fool of state local government joint account. That is just the idea. Well, which is a problem right now because most states have a problem with IGR. Uh, which brings me to the question. Local government autonomy, in what way, or do you think it will at least boost IGR of states? Well, uh, let me tell you clearly. As a young Goka, when I joined local government service, local governments in Nigeria were not even receiving federal allocation. And they were able to perform wonderfully well, even without federation account because there was a level of autonomy in the local government. Local government at that time, they collect the revenue within their uh, jurisdiction, and it is from the collection, the revenue IGR realized in each local government, they are able to meet up with demand of the communities in terms of capital project, in terms of recurrent expenditure of the local government, including salaries and what have you. But when local government ought to perform more with coming of uh, 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 intervention from the federal uh, 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 allocation from the federation account, that is when local government is suffering more. Who is supposed to be responsible for the um, collection of um, rates, rents, tenement rents, uh, rates, um, motor park rates, and all that? Who is supposed to be responsible, state or local governments? You, you see, the constitution also clearly stipulated what part of revenue belongs to local government and which element of the revenue are expected to be collected by local government. It's very, very clear in the constitution. But what we are witnessing as a local government system today does not stop only in the management of state local government joint account. Even the IGR that is expected to be collected by local government has been taken over by the state government. They collect, they take it away to, 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 to the state account thereby leaving the local government without anything. Now that's a function of the uh, constitution, which is something we will look uh, more at uh, eventually. But let, let's look at this now. As much as we agree that local government is the closest to the people, let, let's look at how much contributions they make. Let's take, for example, uh, the Jabi Motor Park, which is controlled by the AMAC. AMAC yeah. That's the Abuja Municipal Area Council. Mm. If you go there, you can see that it's not really been well taken care of. The monies collected by these local governments are not being used to develop the small locations or regions where, or where they are collecting these monies from. I think if we really want to understand the happenings in local government, we 
have to use a particular local government from a particular state of the federation apart from the FCT. Because FCT is not a state. And the How level of encroachment into the preserve of local government differs. The chief executive of FCT is an appointee of the president. He doesn't work with state legislatures. My, my point here is yeah. it is expected that mm. if the local governments are allowed, are given autonomy mm. and they have to generate revenue from some of these rates and yeah. rents they collect, yeah. it's only normal that they develop those areas from which they collect those monies or where does the money go to? Yeah, what I'm trying to say in a nutshell is that if you look at all the infrastructures, locally, you know, uh, 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 made infrastructures across the country over the years was made or constructed by the successive administration of various local governments. Let me give you an example of a particular local government in Kano State where I work with the local government council. I was a member of staff in the local government council, and between 1993 to 1995, the local government council was able to build a lot of market stop, market shops, and establish so many local markets with or without that, financial autonomy. Without financial autonomy at, at that time, it, it was, was before the 1999 constitution when the constitution recognized the fact that 22% of the federal revenue should be set aside for local government uh, councils in the country. The success of the clamor mm. for local government autonomy, is it tied to the level of commitment you expect to get from state houses of assembly? Because clearly it is a constitutional matter. Yeah. State houses of assembly and the uh, federal uh, national assembly. Well, I want to say, sincerely speaking, that it's really tied with the commitment from this uh, level of legislators, uh, federal legislators, the two chambers of the national assemblies, and of course the state assemblies. But what we expected from the state assemblies, sincerely speaking, is not forthcoming because of the control the state assembly suffered from the state governors. How many, how many state assemblies have um, considered the bill? For local that is government? the bill transmitted by the Ed Assembly we yes. are talking about. Yes. Uh, I think it's only nine out of 36. Three also rejected. So if you look at the 36 state assemblies, only 12 took decisive decision on the bill transmitted to them. So far, about 26 are yet to take any decision, either for or against. And they are still hiding under the guise that they are going to consult, and they are not consulting anybody. All right, let's take a quick break now, and when we return, we'll talk about um, the issue of local and state governments joint accounts. Please stay with us. Mm -hmm.